Welcome everyone. Um, my name is Christina McGuire. I am the internship coordinator with the Career Center and we're joined today by Emily Gear, who will be speaking about the various opportunities with Pathpoint Santa Barbara. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then Emily, I'm going to have you take it away. Get this going here. Can everybody see that okay? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, my name is Emily Gear. I am the office manager slash HR assistant for PathPoint's behavioral health division for the Santa Barbara um, region. region. So I'm just going to go over a little bit about the behavioral health division and the programs that we offer. So we serve about 430 individuals, 80 children and adults in a counseling center, it's about 131 adults in our Paths to Recovery program. 100 previously homeless or traumatized adults in residential support services, 55 in life skills, 26 in Phoenix and Mountain, which are our um, board and care full-time living facilities. So we serve people that are dealing with or struggling, sorry, <laughs> or dealing with um, severe mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive depression, co-occurring substance use disorders, and we work with anybody from mild cases to severe cases. If you're seeing those calls pop up, I apologize. I don't know how to turn them. We don't see that. So, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. It goes off all day long. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through the different pieces. So we have a life skills center. It is in the eastern Ventura County. It's a rehabilitation day program. It provides support to individuals with psychiatric disabilities in partnership with Ventura County Behavioral Health. Um, the programs out there focus on specific skill targeted creating, focuses on a specific skill targeted at creating a stable life. Members receive both one-on-one -on -one and group services. So that's not really one that you would necessarily be working with if you were to apply here with us in Santa Barbara since it is out in the Ventura area, but it is a part of our division. Paths to Recovery is one of our programs where we are currently hiring and looking to bring people on. The PTR team is what we call it for short. It's a multidisciplinary team of 14 staff, roughly. We have a psychiatrist, two registered nurses. They're wonderful. Um, we have therapists and trained mental health workers. So we provide community-based psychiatric care and management services. Right now, we manage a little over 100 adults with mental health diagnoses that live in the Santa Barbara area. Um, our their homes or anywhere in the community providing one-on-one -on -one weekly mental health interventions. And we like to strength-based approaches to learning and recovery. This is a kind of funny snapshot of our PTR team. Um, this is not actually the uh, very up-to-date photo. We're missing a couple people and a couple of the people presented are no longer with us, but this is um, a good overview of a couple people on our team right now. Um, our residential support services is also another area where we are hiring. Um, so those are houses that we've partnered with Housing Authority of Santa Barbara to offer supportive services to the residents living in those houses at El Carrillo Apartments, Bradley Studios, and Artisan Court Apartments. Um, and RSS, I don't have it actually written down on the slide, but RSS provides on-site mental health support to adults experiencing moderate to severe mental health challenges at the three different housing authority managed apartment companies there. So they go on site and provide those services. Um, our behavioral health division has five different properties in Santa Barbara for individuals living independently. All five properties currently accept section eight, which allows us to rent our apartments and homes at fair market rates to qualified low income tenants. Behavioral health also has two licensed boarding cares. So those were the two that I was referring to earlier, Phoenix House and Mountain House, and they assist with all aspects of daily living. And that is uh, the other area where we are hiring. They are called residential counselors and they work just specifically within our Phoenix and Mountain House boarding cares. Um, so this is just a little rundown of our properties. We have, we call it the Ahi House, um, which is a single family home. We have a property on Chino Street. We have a property um, right behind Chino Street, same, same place, but it's the back property. Um, San Gordiano, or you'll hear us call it San G, is another way that we have our properties. Francis Street 
And then Mountain House is one of the licensed board and care facilities. Again, with the positions that we're hiring for, this is where you would be working out of as a residential counselor, as well as Phoenix House. So you could, there's potential to switch back and forth. You could work out of either one during any given week. Um, so Mountain House, just because it's a little bit more relevant to today, I'll kind of hang out on this slide. So we have a property manager, director, facility admin, program coordinator, lead residential counselor, and then residential counselors, which again, those we are looking currently for residential counselors. Um, it is a licensed residential care facility directly contracted with Santa Barbara County Department of Behavioral Wellness. All referrals come through the county, so people don't come directly to Pack Point. They do go through the county first, and then the county will place them with us depending on level of care deemed necessary. Assisting with all aspects of daily living, medicine, cooking, cleaning, symptom management, scheduling. It's a, it's a full-time assistance program and it is staffed 24 seven. So a lot of our residential counselors do overnight shifts. Phoenix House is the exact same thing, just in a different location. This one's down over by, um, if you know the Big Wooden Park Kids World, we're like right across the street from there. The Counseling Center is the other aspect of our Behavioral Health Division. We're not currently hiring for the Counseling Center to my knowledge, but if that is something you're potentially interested in, you could always look into it. But it offers confidential counseling at little to no cost, three comfortable and confidential offices, telehealth partnered with the Holman Group. Um, clients, two qualified clients may not be receiving services from any other county provider. So this is different from other aspects of our program because you don't need to go through the county in order to receive services from this particular piece of our division. You can come directly to Path Point and go outside intervention required. Um, so, which brings us to our current job openings, the ones that we are hiring for within the division here in Santa Barbara. Like I said, we work out of some other counties as well, but we're hiring here locally for these current jobs. So we are looking for residential counselors. Um, they are the people, like I said, that work in Phoenix House and Mountain House. They are direct support staff. They provide residents with skill-based teaching, modeling, and their activities of daily living, um, which include cooking, chore-related tasks, hygiene, budgeting, money management, community engagement, access to medication management, medical, dental. It's a, it's a lot <laughs> and all listed. Like I said, it's a full, full, um, uh, Oh no, I'm losing my word, but it's full assistance, 24 seven assistance. Um, behavioral health case manager is the other thing that we are hiring for. And our behavioral health within our paths to recovery program, they provide case management services to adults living in the Santa Barbara area who are experiencing moderate to severe mental health challenges. Residential support services, um, they provide on-site mental health support to adults experiencing moderate to severe mental health challenges. And those were at the three, from a previous slide, at the three different properties listed that are in partnership with Santa Barbara Housing Authority. So the difference between a case manager and a residential support service is res residential support services travel to the property and provide on-site support versus case managers go out to their clients and meet them wherever the client would like to meet them that week. So just a little, little different there, but same idea. My slide is not moving. Ah, okay. So half point, um, I have already covered it in the previous slides, but I'll just run over it again really quick. It's a non Santa Barbara. We support people in living the life they choose. Pathpoint partners with people with disabilities, people with mental health diagnoses, and young adults to pursue their hopes and dreams through strengthening workplace abilities, building life skills, and developing meaningful relationships. Founded in 1964, it offers services in five Central Coast and Southern California cities. So we have Kern, Los Angeles, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and Ventura. We are an equal opportunity employer, and we value diversity at our organization. We do not discriminate on the basis of race, religion, color, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, age, marital status, veteran status, or disability status. Um, this is just a quick 
bullet point checklist of some other great benefits that PathPoint offers when you do work for us. This is different. This does vary whether or not you are part-time staff or full-time staff, but in general, this is what we offer for those working with us. And I can go back to that slide later if people want to talk about that part more in detail. Um, I just thought I'd go a little bit more in depth about each position that we're looking for, um, but residential counselors, they are, we do, we do, oh my goodness, okay, we're seeking part-time or full-time residential counselors for the social rehabilitation program. So like I was saying earlier, you provide your clients with respect, support, and an understanding that they are more than their diagnosis. Um, in this role, you will gain experience and training treating a variety of psychiatric disorders, including bipolar illness, depression, schizophrenia, personality disorders, and anxiety. The schedule for this position is 24 to 40 hours per week, depending on your availability and preferences. And the ability to work overnight shifts and weekends is strongly preferred. Like I said, it is a 24-7 assisted living facility, so we do have residential counselors on staff at all times. So these are the essential job functions for the residential counselor. We can, go, I guess I won't just to keep it through the whole thing, but it is something I can go back and go over more in depth later at the end. This is what we're looking for for residential counselors. So you do need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, including booster if eligible. A bachelor's degree in psychology or a related field and one year of experience in the mental health field or high school diploma and at least five years of relevant experience. I do know from what I know of PathPoint in this particular position right now, that five years of experience, there is some wiggle room there. Um, so don't, don't let that deter you. Our residential counselors are primarily made up of students who are still currently in school. So this is a great job for students who are currently in school. It offers great flexibility and also wonderful experience. Um, you do have to be legally able to bill Medi-Cal. We haven't run into somebody who hasn't been able to do that yet, but that is a must have a valid driver's license, satisfactory driving record and be eligible for coverage. And you do need to receive a criminal record clearance through the DOJ and pass our pre-employment pre health and TV screenings. Uh, the other position, behavioral health case managers, there is a little bit more to this job. It's not quite as student friendly as the residential counselor is just because it is a full time position. And we are looking for a little bit more experience with our case managers, but it is a great job to transition to out of school or if you're getting ready to graduate and are looking for that um, entry level full time position right out of college. But in this role, you'll provide support for an assigned group of clients by assisting them with all aspects of living, including the development of social, vocational, and effective symptom management skills. Specific needs include education in the areas of medication management, proper nutrition, cooking, shopping, budgeting, house cleaning and maintenance, and personal hygiene. You'll also for developing, writing, implementing, evaluating, and revising treatment goals and plans as well as providing one-on-one -on -one support to clients as needed. So this is that position that I was saying, you go out into the community and meet with your clients once a week versus stationing yourself at a building and then coming to you. That one is RSS. Um, so this particular case manager position is a great opportunity if you're looking to acquire deeper understanding of mental illness and practice field-based work. This position comes with a wonderful perks, including flexible scheduling for 40 hours per week and supervision hours for registered associate marriage and family therapists. Case managers working 40 hours per week have the option to work a 410 schedule, meaning you can always have three days off per week should you choose. We also have a lot of case managers who do remote work, which is another great perk of a job like that. It is nice to have the ability to go off campus if needed. Um, so this is a little bit about what we're looking for out of people who would be applying for this. Again, fully vaccinated against COVID, bachelor's degree in psychology or related field, and or high school diploma with at least five years of related experience, including working in the mental health field or clients' homes as a caregiver or direct support professional, a master's degree in psychology and or registered AMFT or ACSW preferred, Knowledge of Medi-Cal billing procedures, also preferred but not required. 
valid driver's license with a clean driving record. Um, also for this role, you must receive a criminal record clearance as well as pass our pre-employment health and TV screenings. So the only one that I don't have on here, um, and that's because I believe it's a bit of a newer opening, so we didn't have a chance to put it on the slide, is our RSS position. So I'm just gonna speak a little bit about it, but the RSS is that position that I was saying, you will be stationed at one of our three housing apartment complexes and people go to you in support services. So you provide on-site mental health supports to adults experiencing moderate to severe mental health challenges. Um, RSS, a typical day for RSS looks like you might start your day at one of the three sites or end your day at another one of the properties. You would be meeting with residents at that location to work on helping them manage challenges, celebrate successes, et cetera. You could be assisting them in linking to helpful community resources and might come back to the on-site office to complete administrative tasks like Medi-Cal documentation. RSS can be full-time or part-time as well. And so, yeah, it is, it is similar to case managers. It's just that difference is where you're stationed versus going out into the community. You also don't necessarily have people assigned to you as an RSS counselor, whereas a case manager has specific clients assigned to them. So on this page, we just have a little blurb there about depression being a leading cause of disability worldwide. And then I just, we've listed just some resources for you. And yeah, that is my little, without talking everybody's ear off, that is my little blurb about the Behavioral Health Division and some of the positions that are currently open that we are hiring for in the Santa Barbara area.